Hey everyone, welcome back to another Blood Strike video. Today we are diving into the latest update that just dropped. I'll be breaking down all the new additions and changes that have been made to enhance the overall gameplay experience. So let's jump right in and see what's in store for us. Helicopters are now part of the action on Shutter Island. That means you can team up with your friends, hop into the pilot seat and rain down firepower on your enemies from the air. Operating this helicopter is very easy. Just ascend, descend and turn wherever you please. While you're at the controls, your teammates can unleash havoc from the passenger seats. Plus, you can swap positions mid-flight, letting someone else take the helicopter while you rain down fire from above. It's a game changer. Right now, this is exclusive to Shutter Island, but fingers crossed we'll see it in Desert Valley too. But here's the thing, these helicopters have limited fuel, so you've got to be careful not to run out fuel mid-flight, or you'll be in for a bumpy landing. If you run out of fuel, you'll just drop wherever you are, like me landing unexpectedly on the prison. Plus, I discovered you can use the pilot seat as a sneaky hiding spot. Nobody notices you unless they check. And can we talk about how massive this helicopter is? It's like a UH-60 Black Hawk or MH-60 Jayhawk, way bigger than what we usually see in other games. Definitely the largest helicopter I've flown in a mobile game. Overall, it's an awesome addition that enhances the experience and opens up new possibilities for players to explore. So let me know what you think about the addition of helicopters in Blood Strike. Alright, now it's time to take a look at the latest optimizations they have done. Inspecting weapons while running. Previously, players had to stop moving to inspect their weapons, which could be inconvenient during fast space gameplay. With this addition, players can now inspect their weapons while on the move, allowing for better immersive realistic gameplay experience. Weapon inspection adds an extra layer of coolness to the game for me. It's one of those things I love to do, especially during intense moments like running away from or chasing enemies. And if you're a streamer, it's a great way to keep your audience engaged. They won't find it boring at all. Optimized ADS and weapon firing while climbing. Aiming down sights and firing weapons while climbing previously required separate actions, which could be troublesome. Now by simply holding the corresponding button while climbing, players will automatically aim or fire their weapon, making combat more fluid and intuitive, especially in vertical situations. Before climbing put you at a disadvantage against someone already up there. Now with the optimized ADS and firing while climbing, it levels the playing field ensuring a fairer fight for everyone. Improved graphics on Shutter Island for Ultra settings. Players using the Ultra graphics settings on mobile devices can now enjoy an even more visually stunning experience on Shutter Island. This optimization enhances the display of the island's environment, including details like textures, lighting and effects, providing a more immersive gameplay experience. Streamlined skydive leader selection process. In previous versions, the process for selecting the skydive leader may have been unclear or inefficient. With this optimization, players can now apply to become the skydive leader, simplifying the process and allowing for better coordination and teamwork during skydiving sequences. Simplified chest viewing. Interacting with chests to view their contents previously required required specific actions, potentially slowing down looting and inventory management. Now, players can simply tap on a chest to view its details, making the process more intuitive and efficient. Player gain feature. After completing a round, players can now immediately start another game with their squad by tapping play again. This feature eliminates the need to return to the main menu, reducing downtime and keeping the action flowing seamlessly. Being able to tap play again after each match means you can squeeze in more matches in less time. This not only keeps the action going but also helps you rank up faster than ever before. Microphone and teammate volume adjustments. Communication is key in team-based games but sometimes the default volume levels may not be optimal. With this addition, players can now adjust the microphone and teammate volume levels to better suit their preferences, improving communication and overall gameplay experience. Absolutely, it's such a relief that they've finally added this feature. I used to struggle with muting or lowering the volume of specific players, which could be really frustrating. But now with these adjustments, managing individual audio levels will be so easy. It's definitely going to make gameplay a lot smoother and more enjoyable. As of May 23rd, players using mobile devices are now able to utilize basic controller support specifically designed to work seamlessly with Xbox controllers. This means that players can now connect their Xbox controllers to their mobile devices and use them to play. Furthermore, ongoing improvements and updates are being made to enhance the controller support feature, ensuring a smoother and more enjoyable gaming experience for mobile players. Players are encouraged to explore and test out this new feature in both ranked Battle Royale and Battle Royale matchmaking game modes. Looking ahead, there are plans to expand controller support to PC gaming as well. This means that players will soon be able to use their 
controllers to play games on their PCs. Additionally, customizable options such as controller input and sensitivity settings will be introduced, allowing players to tailor their gaming experience to their preferences. Overall, these developments aim to provide players with more flexibility and control over their gaming experience, whether they are playing on mobile devices or PCs. Here's a breakdown of the system optimizations, enhanced strike pass activity points. With this optimization, completing tasks in the strike pass will now reward you with more activity points. This means you'll level up your strike pass much faster than before, allowing you to unlock rewards and progress through the tiers more efficiently. You will not have to wear an entire season to max the strike pass, you can do it much sooner. Extended check-in event Following the update, the existing beginner 7-day check-in and journey guide events will be replaced by the beginner 15-day check-in event. Players who are still working through the previous events will receive all rewards they would have earned, ensuring no one misses out on any benefits. This change extends the duration of the check-in event, providing players with more opportunities to claim rewards over a longer period. Hey, let's talk about the 15-day check-in event because it's loaded with awesome rewards you don't want to miss. First up, there's a free legendary striker skin for Ethan and it's animated. The best part? It won't cost you a dime or require any grinding. Just log into the game for 15 days straight. With this legendary skin, Ethan becomes the only striker with both legendary and ultra skins, which is pretty special. But wait, there's more. You can also score a legendary M4 skin by logging in for just one week. Its look is reminiscent of this car Venom, so if you're into collecting, this is a must-have to complete your set. Don't forget about the epic rewards waiting for you if you log in for 10 days straight. You'll snag an incredible backflip emote along with the stickers, weapon XP cards, avatars, reputation and more. Just keep up the logging streak for 15 days to unlock all these. Trust me, it's worth it. Here's a breakdown of the weapon stats adjustments. MP155 The MP155 retains its strength in close quarters combat, offering a potent burst of damage at short distances. To balance its effectiveness, the MP155's range performance has been toned down. The damage dealt to all body areas is now set at 45, providing a balanced approach. However, when equipped with the Fleshette Mag, the damage is slightly boosted to 50, rewarding players for using this attachment. The damage output at various ranges has been adjusted to ensure a fair and balanced gameplay experience. Damage is lower at longer distances, encouraging players to utilize the weapon's strengths within its effective range. At 4 meters to 6 meters, the MP155 inflicts 31 damage to all body areas. However, when equipped with the Fleshette Mag, the damage is boosted to 35. This adjustment emphasizes the weapon's effectiveness in mid-range engagements, rewarding players who opt for the Fleshette Mag attachment for increased damage output. Within 6 meters to 13 meters, the MP155 deals 16 damage to all body areas. With the Fleshette Mag equipped, the damage is slightly elevated to 18. This range highlights the MP155's versatility, allowing it to remain viable in medium-range encounters. Beyond 13 meters, the MP155's damage output decreases to 12 damage across all body areas. However, with the Fleshette Mag, the damage is raised to 14. These adjustments reflect the weapon's limitations in long-range engagements, encouraging players to utilize it more more effectively within its optimal range. They have also increased bullet spread when firing while jumping. The fire rate of the INP9 has been boosted to 720 rounds per minute RPM. This adjustment enhances the weapon's rate of fire, making it more competitive in fast-paced combat situations. Here's an overview of the bug fixes resolved an issue where supply chest collision was not functioning correctly. Players should now be able to interact with supply chests without encountering any collision issues ensuring a smoother looting experience. Addressed a language related problem affecting the kill streak icon. Players should now see the correct language displayed for the kill streak icon, enhancing clarity and consistency in the game interface. Fixed several sound effect issues that were causing disruptions or inconsistencies in gameplay audio. Players can now enjoy a more immersive and seamless auditory experience without encountering Encountering any unexpected sound glitches. Rectified an issue where incorrect results were being displayed in certain game modes. This fix ensures that players receive accurate and reliable feedback on their performance, improving overall game integrity and fairness. Alright, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon for more videos. I'll see you guys in the next one.